Hi everyone, welcome to my sales video showing you what's going out today. This is three days worth of sales and there are 32, 33 items going out. Uh, we're FNS resellers, I'm Faye, and with my hus husband Simon, um, we resell full time. Uh, I, what I'm about to show you is a collection of items that we've picked up from auction and charity shops. We do source in other places too, but mainly recently it's been auction and charity shops. Um, just to let you know that our latest competition is still live. You can enter it here, but you have to watch our video to be able to enter it. Uh, we had a really good uh, feedback on the last one. Loads of people entered and they really enjoyed it. And you've all been loving our recent videos as well. So we're really, really pleased um, about the feedback that we're getting and the help that we're providing for people who want to get into reselling or who already resell but want to maybe diverse um, with their stock. Um, you can learn every day being a reseller. You, you will never know everything. So we all learn from each other and it's really, really um, a great uh, sort of, what am I trying to say? Well, over on Instagram, there's a big community of us and it's just a great community, community to be part of. I can't talk this morning. Um, so yeah, we're always learning. So if you haven't found us on Instagram, pop on over there and um, follow us and follow some of the people who we follow and join in because it's great fun. So um, I'm filming this on a Monday, but it's actually, you're, you'll be watching this on a Tuesday. This goes live on Tuesday um, because we're actually going away this weekend. Woohoo! Uh, so Friday would be a post day for us, but we're doing it early on Thursday so we can go away and then um, it's bank holiday weekend so um, I'm excited about that I've got a busy week meeting a friend for lunch going out um, meet some friends on Thursday evening and then we're away at the weekend and we're going to do some chattering on the way as well um, so I will show you what we've got first things first this is the most recent sale that's come through this morning it's a coca-cola can glass purple limited edition McDonald's 2009 and it cost 50p in April and we sold it for 8 99 And there's another breakable, but it's buried, so I'll get to that. Um, this next item is some bunting. And it's someone makes these on Etsy. Um, it's woodland toadstool, mushroom, fungi, autumn, and it's made of card, it's like a garland, um, and it's two meters long. Now, when I found this online, yeah, Rebecca's Leaves makes it, um, she's on Etsy, and it came in a bundle from the auction, and it got me thinking that um, some of the things we pick up uh, could be ex sort of Royal Mail stocks, well not stock, but so um, items that have been lost, not called for, all that, that sort of thing, because we have a real mixture of things sometimes, like things like personalised tea towels, we've had um, barbecue aprons with people's photos on, all sorts of things and the only way I can um, really sort of figure out where they've come from is to think that it's like uh, Royal Mail or Hermes or anywhere like that where it's undeliverable um, because I don't know why I'd have got this otherwise. So yeah, we've got a 25% off promotion running as well. It started yesterday and it's running over payday. So um, it's a habit we're sort of trying to get into um, to target people over payday because a lot of resellers do really, really well over payday sort of weekends, but we never see um, a spike in sales. It's, it's weird. Um, but yeah, so we're running a promotion. So this actually sold on promotion. It cost £2.94 and it sold for £6.74. It's just a, it's just fodder. It's just stuff that we we didn't really want, but we ended up with anyway as part of big bulk purchases. Um, so yeah, that's a easy one to post though. This was an Amazon um, merchant fulfilled, so we post it out. Um, it cost a few pence, max fifty p, and it sold for. Oh, Simon did tell me before the video started, but I really can't remember. Let's say six pounds. <laughs> I know it wasn't much. Um, some more media, this time on eBay. Uh, this is a three DVD collection, V22B Osprey, Osprey F35A variant Lightning 2 flying displays DVD. 
doesn't sound like my cup of tea. It cost £2.11 in November as part of a big bundle. Uh, this sold on the 25% off promotion for £6.39. And another media, Secret Life of Pets. That's just going to be the opposite way to which I'm scrolling, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, this cost £2.63 in August and it sold for £2.24 on a 25% off promotion. It would have gone to Amazon, but it's got a tear in the cellophane and sometimes they're just too good to throw out um, or donate. It, we would have had it up for a higher price because it's been listed for ages uh, since August. So we just put it on the promotion and it went. We don't make a habit of selling things for less than we bought them for. However, sometimes you just got to let things go. Um, this is a book called The World of Beretta, an International Le Legend. So it's um, all about uh, guns. And Simon picked up a big job lot of um, books all on this genre. Um, this was listed on Amazon, but it's sold on eBay because we cross list everything via Joe Lister. Uh, I'm not sure how much it, we bought it for, but I know it wasn't much. And it sold for £10.49 and it's going abroad via GSP. Now this next one's massive. Um, it's really heavy. And let me just find it on my list. It's a massive book. It's the works of Jane Austen, the Illustrated Library Limited Edition. Um, there was only 5,000 printed. We listed this in April. We got it from a charity shop for six pounds and we sold it for 25 pound plus post. I should think that's gonna go UPS because it's so heavy. Whew. Right. Christmas decorations, because everyone buys Christmas decorations in May. These were a bad buy ages ago, had them ages. Um, listed them in, no well, I think we re-listed them in November, but we'd had them oh, a long time, over a year. Um, they're Christmas tree baubles with Father Christmas on. It's a six pack and they're made from plastic, so they're kid friendly and they're new in their box. We've still got seven boxes of, the, of these available. Uh, we paid £2.18, got them in the auction and this box sold for £7.59. Clothes. Now, we, all our clothes go in these clear bags uh, when we've listed them. We always label um, with like the, a brief sort of the start of the title on eBay, and we always put a silica damp thing in there as well. If you're going to put your um, items in these clear bags, then you need to make sure they're the ones with the suffocation warnings on them and the holes in for safety. Um, and if you follow us on Instagram, I think you can see it on here as well. If you look um, underneath this video, you'll see links to some of the products that we buy, and these are on there. We get through a lot of them, um, but they're really good value. Uh, so, in here, we have an Adidas Own the Run t shirt, large black. Um, it's got mesh panels, uh, it's a running top, it's brand new tags. It cost £2.06p in January. This was from the auction in a clothing bundle, and we sold it for £14.44. Leggings, again, these are from the auction. These are Puma leggings. These ones sold on Depop. They were 59p. They're um, Puma Moto tight leggings, extra large. They're brand new without tags. Sold them for 11 99 I've got another pair left that are brand new with tags that are a couple of quid um, more. But yeah, please with those. Oh. Um, if anyone's seen our Instagram in the last week, you'd have seen um, that we sell balaclavas, not out of choice, they just come in clothing bundles sometimes or hats, hat bundles. And um, someone returned one because it squashed their nose and they, it, it hurt them. It was quite funny. So we wondered what um, bank they'd robbed before they'd returned it. Um, obviously, that's a joke, um, but yeah, we, we binned it. <laughs> this one is, is the brand is Bula, B U L A. It's the Primaloft 4-in-1 convertible balaclava in large, extra large. So it's like a fleece thing and you can, it's like for skiing and sort of winter sports. So you can have it um, without your, like your mouth and nose covered. 
Um, there's lots of different ways to wear it. Again, this is ex Costco stock. It costs four pounds, part of a hat bundle. It was on the 25% off promotion because we've had them since, well, this one's only been listed since March, but we've had, we've got a, um, we've had loads in stock over the months. So it's time to get rid of these. And this sold for 7 dollars on the, on the promotion. Had quite a few shoe sales this weekend. Um, and I've sort of gone off listing shoes, so it's good to clear them down. Uh, these next ones were in a shoe bundle from the auction as well. These are JD Williams, so they're a catalogue. Um, these are not what I didn't want to buy these. These came with trainers and other shoes that I did want in a big bundle. These are JD Williams leather tassel detail loafers in a size 7. Um, they're ladies and they're wide e-fit, new slip-on and they're brand new in their box as you can see they cost seven pound and nine p in september and just got them gone at ten pound because they're nothing special at all all the good shoes from that um bundle have gone um next up is swimwear we've got lots of swimwear and it's starting to go now that people can actually go swimming again and go on holiday um, these ones are brand new tags. All the swimwear we sell is brand new tags. I wouldn't sell it otherwise. Um, maybe you do sell you swimwear. I don't know, but just personal choice. I don't. I don't choose to. Um, these are Speedo Mirage Shine Placement Digi Powerback Swimsuit, size 16, and um, brand new tags. It costs one pound ninety three in November as part of a big clothing bundle from the auction, and it sold for twenty one ninety nine. Another snooty thing, this one is a, what do they call it? A multi, multi-way, or multi, no. Oh, postman's gonna ring the doorbell. Um, it's an RFU, so rugby, 150, multifunctional snood headwear, hat, scarf, tube, black floral rugby. So it's got the roses on the back, it's brand new tags, cost 3.25 as part of a hat and scarf bundle, sold for 5.99. We had loads of those and we just wanted them gone. Uh, this was a recent pickup, this one. It's a musto polo shirt, men's. Uh, it's been in a recent haul video. It's large, it's evolution, a short sleeve um, t-shirt. Cost six pound 52, listed it this month, bought it this month, sold it for 21 pounds. Ex Costco stock again. This one's been hanging around a while. Um, surprised it's sold now, to be honest. But um, we sold Christmas decorations, didn't we? So who knows? So this is a heat holder, short sleeve vest, large white, 0.45 tog, thermal underwear, ribbed, brand new. Cost two pounds in January and sold for eight ninety nine. Anything thermal and wintry, we're just trying to get rid of. Uh, tiny pair of knickers. <laughs> These ones are Hollister Gilly Hicks No Show Thong, large, and um, brand new tags. Cost one ninety three as part of an underwear bundle in November, and sold for five pounds. We've hardly got any underwear left now. Um, <laughs> selling underwear has been great. It's so easy to list. It's um, easy to pack and every, well, most people need it. <laughs> Next up, some gloves. You've seen these in the other sale videos because we had quite a few. The gloves, again, are a great um, thing to sell. We had, well, we've sold hundreds of pairs of gloves now and we, we haven't got many left. Um, these are Wells Lamont Hydra Hide gloves, water resistant leather, goat skin, heavy duty sort of gardening work gloves, brand new tags. These are a large and they cost 193 and we sold them for $12.99. We've had them, it doesn't say, but since around sort of November time. People are getting out in their gardens, working, so they need gloves. Oh. This next one was a freebie and a great sale. So it, it just ended up on top of uh, one of our auction pickups one day. So when we go to the auction, especially in lockdown, like when it was hardcore lockdown, the auction house would get all your um, sales ready in like a big sort of trolley, like the ones you get at the supermarket where they, like the tall ones. 
um, that they used to restock the shelves. They'd fill those up with all your purchases and they would just bring it out to two meters away from your car and you'd be left to unload it. So you, you couldn't really check anything. And this somehow ended up in a load of stuff that we um, brought home. It's a 15 piece barbecue tool set um, in a case. It's really nice quality. Um, it didn't cost us anything and we sold it for 50 pounds. Not much to see. Another recent pickup, this is in a video, it's a Glade plug-in air freshener. Now, these are a bit of a bolo because they discontinue certain scents. Um, I didn't know until I just saw it in the chatter and I thought, oh, I'll look that up, see what the dealio is with that. Oh, that was the barbecue set just falling over. Why can't, oh, here we go. So it's a Glade wax melt warmer, electric beige burner, air freshener, brand new. Um, I plugged it in, checked it, a little light comes on when you plug it in, so I took a picture of it with the light on as well, it included that in my listing. It costs £4.95 uh, in April and it sold for £24.99. Some more shoes, just some Converse high tops. These ones are unisex, well they're all unisex really aren't they? Uh, six and a half and they're brand new with tags, cost $7.83 in March and sold for $16.99. I mean, I don't pick up Converse unless there's something special about them and white ones are 10 a penny. So they were in a clothing, uh, a shoe bundle from the auction. Uh, a top from the auction, this is X Costco stock as well. Ended up with loads of these. They are literally nothing special at all. The brand is Jacques Girlfriend, and this is a large, it's Brodery on Glaze, um, brand new tags in white. I've got pink, red. If you want one, let me know. It cost a pound, and in the end, sold it for five pounds just to get it gone. Very summery. Another recent sale are these Kath Kidston Espadrille shoes. They are ditzy the design is hope ditzy and um, they're brand new but they don't have the tags but they've never been worn they cost three pound 45 from a charity shop in april and sold them for 18 pound 49 so that was a good sale um what's this ah another recent pickup got these a couple of weeks ago they're cos jersey leggings in large they're cropped and they cost £1.75 from a charity shop in, well, I've got them this month, and sold um, on offer for £21.27. <laughs> You've seen these before if you watch our videos regularly. They are the um, are they Moonseeker, Moonseeker of Light, Guardian Messages from the Heart Oracle deck, so cards, and they cost £2.11. Uh, I think this was the last pack. Yes, we sold a lot of these um, and we've done really well. Over a hundred pound profit on all of these. Uh, this one sold for 25.59 on the 25% promotion. The 25% promotion is running on everything listed from March back. So nothing um, super recent, um, unless we went in and decided not to um, include things in the sale, so there are certain things that we want to hold out on that are a bit special, um, but we're just not precious about things. We just like to get things gone and move on, get the money back and buy more stuff. Uh, next up is a paperweight. Uh, this one is, I picked it up in March. It's an STK, so St Kilda, which is Scotland. Um, it's John Deacon's Meal Fury six centimeters diameter on this one so it's a little one um and with stk st kilda glass in the stringers which are like the individual mill fury pieces he has stk inside one so they're like sticks of rock um and you know sometimes at the seaside you get a stick of rock and it's got something written in the middle that's like a stringer and stk is written in the very middle of this one and you only know it's there if you know about St Kilda Glass or you've got amazing eyesight. Um, 
you can sort of tell that there's something there, but you don't know what it is. So if you get a magnifying glass or a loop, I've got a loop, which is like what jewelers wear, which is sort of two sort of lenses magnified and they've got a light on and you just hold it over and you can see. And I tried to take a picture of it through the loop to put on my listing, but also it's got the remnants of a sticker on the bottom that says made in Scotland. Um, so this one was 275, listed it in March, got this in a job lot from the auction and it sold for 20 pounds. Simon has always wanted to go to St Kilda in Scotland. Um, I haven't. It's an uninhabited island and you have to get a speedboat there. And it's on the northwest coast, like really far out. And I hate boats. So I've told him he's on his own. Um, next up, Uno. Is this Uno flipped? Did that just fall off in my drink? No. Um, Uno flip yeah this one uh, i'm not sure how much we paid we had a load of uno games um this is flip the deck change the game uh pocket size uh listed it in january sold for 4.99 you can't get like these just these are in all sorts of shops um they don't sell for much but we had it as part of a big job a lot of games another recent pickup are these and other stories um, strappy crop heeled leather sandals they're brand new size seven and a half they cost 8.99 in april um these are from a chaza and sold for 25 pounds now three things left I'm, I'm just, i don't know if this video has gone out yet if it hasn't gone out it's due to go out any day but we um picked well simon last week when we were out um in a couple of charity shops took a punt um on like bags of minifigures and there was three bags one was 10 pounds one was five pounds and one was four pounds the 10 pound one well one of the bags he sort of saw that there was some wallace and gromit figures in there and did he see anything else oh there was homer and marge simpson and one and he didn't he just took a pump so over the weekend i went through them all and listed them i ha i've just got a little sort of pile left of odds and sods so i don't really know what they are um but we sold three bags already so bear in mind we spent 19 pounds on the lot i've managed to make probably 20 listings so i've like groups that like the wallace and gromit ones i've grouped together and listed there's some My Little Ponies that I've grouped, like, like minifigures, um, that I've grouped together and listed. So it works out at like pence per bag. Um, and we have sold three. So this one is PJ Masks, uh, Catboy Gecko Owlet. And these ones are three and a half inches tall. Now I've got, I managed to make up a few bundles of these three characters, but they're all slightly different. So I've had to be really specific in my title. Um, so I don't get confused when I go to pick the stock. So on this one, I put Catboy, Gecko and Owlet, uh, and I've written it on the label. But on another one, I might have put Gecko, Catboy, Owlet, so it's the other way around, so when, and I've written that on the label, so I know which one to pick. So these cost £1.43 and sold for £12.99. And if you remember, I spent £19 on the lot. These ones actually sold first. These are PJ Masks. Ninjalino figures, stackable, three of them. They're glittery and they're six centimetres tall each. These again cost £1.43 and these sold for £16.14 on offer. Remember, only paid £19. And then these ones are, oh, these ones sold first actually. Paw Patrol, 10 figure mixed bundle. Um, they cost, this one for £1.43 and this one sold for £19.99. So we've got our money back already on all three. So, I mean, they could have gone for more, maybe, if I knew loads about the figures that are in the bags, but I don't. I did some research and I could tell which um, cartoon or franchise they were from. Um, but I listed like more of these ones. I, can't, I haven't labelled them yet. But there's the Wallace and Gromit ones. I've just got to put the labels on before I put them away. These ones are non-om-nom-nommies or something. 
They're out of the blind bags that kids buy. These ones, I can't remember what they are. And there's the My Little Ponies. And there's more that I've put away. Um, so yeah, it was like, it was a punt that, we take risks and punts all the time. We don't spend a lot of money on it, but if we believe, if you, if you don't take risks, if you don't sort of learn and sort of broaden your knowledge on things, then you're always gonna get sort of stuck in a rut eventually. Um, so we like to kind of mix things up and list different things all the time because it, it makes it more exciting. Um, so yeah, that is everything that is going out today. Um, Simon is gonna pack that and take it to the post office. And I'm going to spend the rest of the day doing life admin, like book an MOT, um, windscreen repair, dogs flea and worming treatment, all that sort of fun stuff. Ooh. Um, yeah, so we're going to pop out tomorrow morning and go sourcing. So we're going to film another haul video for you this week. Um, don't forget what I said about the competition that's still live. Um, and thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, follow us on Instagram, you know the score. Um, catch you later. Bye.